Hello! A new Steez Factory Manager version ready to be released. It's not super big, but it's quite useful when it comes to editing things in the manager and so on. So, let's just take a look, shall we? Right, okay, so nothing it's too special, but we have a new button called User Preferences, and if you click it, you'll be taken to the User Preferences page, like this. Don't worry, you can just go back here and you will see all the commands and buttons uh, again. So this is basically another page within the, the manager. And this will define how things work in the manager and I'm just going to go through them and take a look at what they do. So groups will automatically be closed when the interface is reopened. If we select that one, what's going to happen is if I have a group here and then I go and open it up like that, I can maybe add an input like so. If I open reopen the interface, I'm going to be back at the very top. Just like it used to be. So, uh, previously this was always the case, uh, but now it's an option, and if I go back like so, oops, and then open like that, so now we're in group here, take a look, and then if I open it again, we're still in group there, so we're, we're, we're still where we left off. However, if the group has been deleted since last time, then you're not going to be taken to that group, you're going to go back to the top anyways. So, um... By default, uh, it's actually going to be off, which is not the same as it used to be, and that's actually the only option where that is the case. So previously, you always had it being on, but, uh, well, you can turn it off and it's going to be off by default, whereas all of these other settings are going to do things that you couldn't do previously, so by default they were off, so that's the only difference there. Okay, so if I select this one, uh, click on the top part of the command, will open or close it. Uh, if I do that, we can see that if I click on group, it's going to get open like that. If I click here, up here again, it's going to get closed. I can still operate with like the button here, even though it's in that area, but if I click just outside it, I'm going to close it. So, um, well, obviously if you misclick on, on, on any buttons here, it will take you well, it will actually do things there, so if you don't like that, and obviously you shouldn't turn that on, and then only this arrow will actually do that thing. You can still use the arrows. Right, now, okay, so here we have the same thing, but for menus, so if I do that, we can see that if I click on content here, it will open like that, open and close when I click. And we can see the same thing here, like that. So I don't have to press on this little arrow. The arrow itself still works, of course, because it's on the menu anyways. Right, okay. Then I have this one, enlarging a group command automatically opens the group. Right, so what that means is the following. If I open this group by clicking on the arrow, we're going to actually go into the group. So now we're in the group and can see the input like so. Uh, it says group here and everything. But uh, yeah, so if you want to name it, for instance, or actually drag things in it, you actually do want to open the command and not go into the actual group. So uh, it actually says that there in the preferences um, that if you hold shift, it's not going to work. So now if I hold shift, it's just going to open and then I have access to this thing here, I have access to naming it and so on. And I can do the same by clicking on it like that. Uh, by using these uh, two, this one up here and that one together, so the one where you can just click on the command to open it, and the thing that when you make a group large, it's going to automatically open it in in, in the manager like so. By combining those two, I can simply open a group by clicking on it, like that. So very good, uh, well, very handy at least, when you have a lot of groups within other groups, so you can easily just go through them by clicking on them. Of course, the shift thing works there as well, so if you shift click on it, it's still going to open like this. Right, okay. The next one is the following. Always show the command type of the command even when it's named. So what that will do is that if I rename this, hold shift to open it, uh, my silly thing. So this name isn't really that good. You don't know what type of command it is, but lucky for us, it's still going to say group here on top. So now you don't really have to put it as part of the name, so this is still a group and so on, because you uh, will, will see, always see that on top, of course only if you have that setting. So if we do it uh, with this input, we can see that if I say uh, command 3 like that, it's going to say input on top. So if it's not named, it's not going to say that, but otherwise it's going to show that. Uh, so if I do that, it's going to lose its name like that. And of course, you can always hold control to uh, uh, to show the the 
different uh, type anyways. So that's always possible. But if you have this option here, they will always be shown. If you hold control while having this setting there, it's just going to be displayed as it usually is when when you hold control. So it's going to show up like that. But but quite handy because then you can always see what type of commands it is. I don't know. It might be annoying because well, extra text there. Eh? It's it's well brighter so the contrast will probably work there but if it's annoying then obviously you don't turn it on that's the good thing about settings right so this next thing here automatically select one side for input outputs and conditions let's take a look on that so now if I create an input output or a condition what we will see is that it has one of these sides selected right so that's the top side for the input one for the output we have the bottom side and for the condition, we have the bottom side as well. If we use the liquid ones, that's also going to be the case. So, well, it's obviously just guessing what you want. Because, well, when you have, have an input into a machine or an inventory, well, quite often you want to do it from the top. And when you output things, quite often you want to do from the bottom. And the condition, well, quite often you want to check it from the bottom as well. Of course, this is just a guess and it's obviously not going to be cor correct every time. But if you do a lot of things where these set guesses are actually valid, maybe you access chests where it doesn't matter which side you operate f uh, on. Or when you use hoppers or, I don't know, furnaces and so on. If you do a lot of work there, then it's... B definitely going to help because then you don't have to go into here and your select a side even though you know it doesn't matter it's a chest and so on of course if you still have the setting you can of course just deactivate and activate the side you actually want so it's just a setting if you uh, think that will help you can use it otherwise don't here we have automatically select an empty blacklist for input commands as well right so now if we create an input it's going to have selected blacklist here. Normally, if we don't have that option, then when we create an input, it's going to have a whitelist selected by default. This means that if you connect this to something, it's going to complain. You have an empty whitelist because you have to define which items to move. However, if we do with this, go with this one, it's not going to complain and just take every item because that's what we told it. The problem with that is that it might just, just com put it to... Um, well, connected to your system, and all of a sudden it's just removing all the items from you, and you didn't even have time to set it up properly. So obviously you don't have to uh, connect it to everything else right away, but if you do want that security, then the whitelist option is still there, which means that it's not going to do anything unless you actually add some items that you want to move. If you want speed in many scenarios where you don't care about the input, well, just take this thing here, and it's always going to uh, select an empty blacklist here there to start with. Like it said in the in the preferences, I don't know if you had time to see it, the output one will always use the blacklist, like that by default. There we go. Okay, so now we've gone through most of them. We have one more here. Enlarge interfaces to fit the full screen, unless they do that already. So as you can see now, well, this interface pr basically takes up my, my whole screen, but if I change my options, so let's go with, uh, we can go with medium maybe, or well, large, that's fine. Okay, so now it won't really take up the full screen. If I click this one though, it's going to take up the full screen. Of course, uh, it's still a bit of a margin here, and so on. So if you go with a very small interface screen, now I picked large, but if you have like medium or small, some of these texts will be very small and very tricky to read. Well, especially in the advanced uh, inventory, really, actually. So this setting will affect that one as well. Uh, so if you do that, obviously don't get the interfaces in the size you usually want them, because if you play with small uh, GUI scale, then you probably want small interfaces. But then you have the option, at least, to make just those interfaces big to allow you to see small text and small details. Because in some in some parts of the interfaces, it's meant to well, it requires you to be able to see quite small text. So this option, just enlarge everything like that, and by removing it, it's just going to stay uh, in the normal setting. No matter what uh, you select here, it's still going to shrink the interfaces if they are too big for your screen. So that thing will always be there, and uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. So I said that this would still affect other manager, well, not, not other managers, but I said it would affect the option in the uh, advanced inventory relay. And the, the reason why that's the case 
is because this option here has nothing to do with which manager you open it from. Uh, as you can see, all my previous settings were there. These settings are for you only. They are not shared on the server with the other pe uh, people uh, on there. And actually, if you join another server or another world or whatever, these settings will still be intact. The reason why that's the case is because these are user preferences, not really changing the actual behavior of the manager, which, well, is, is up to you anyway. So. If you want to be able to open it by clicking on the command, well, then select this one. If your friend working on the same manager do like that, then that person shouldn't select this. Uh, that allows you to just select the things you want and then those will be kept there. And so on. However, let's take a look on this. You might have realized that I'm in survival and the reason why is because... Um, if I go into creative, we will have one more setting, which is a manager setting. And the manager settings, they are, um, well, they are special for the for the manager itself. So if I have two different managers, the manager settings will, well, will be able to be different. And that means that this is server side as well, which means that if your friends change it, then it will show up for you as well for that specific manager. And there's only one manager setting and it says remove all limits of this manager so basically if you don't select this it's going to work like any other manager that you can have a maximum amount of 511 commands a maximum of 1023 connected inventories and that also uh, includes uh, well redstone emitters and so on and then the max reach of it is 128 blocks so you can't reach further than that normally however if you select this none of those limits uh, do apply so you can have how many commands you like how many connected inventories that you like and how many blocks uh, that you like as well however there are no guarantees how good it's going to work this is just for creative builds as you can see it's creative only and that's why i had to go into creative mode so there are no real guarantees there uh, it should work just fine it might be uh, a problem of the 32,000 of any of those things uh, I'm not entirely sure I haven't done uh, all the tests but it's definitely higher than all of these uh, things there so so just for creative builds like that and just to show you one thing here I have a uh, huge thing just for testing in this manager which is a mess I'm sorry uh, I have it selected to uh, this thing here which allows like much larger thing so if we take a look here you can see that we have 1854 uh, components uh, well we found those and all of those are actually selected and basically what that means since we have so many components selected we can't well remove that setting if we're using things maybe we have too many commands or we have uh, components too far away or too many components then we can't remove the setting because then we're in that mode if you for some reason would like to remove it then you would have to make sure that that's not the case anymore so i basically broke the cable here in the beginning which meant that all of these other things were removed from the system because that's what i wanted and uh, well that means that well, this, this line here of, of components is not enough to break the normal limits and therefore I could remove the unlimited version. I don't know exactly why you would want to do that, but that's, of course, possible. And that's pretty much it. Quite a few uh, preferences there for you to help you with, depending on the way you want things to work. And then also the, uh, the ability to set it to an unlimited mode, but that's just for creative. If there are a few other things you would like to see, uh, with these preferences then just tell me there are plenty of space here to add some more and usually these are quite easy to add uh, just a matter of adding the checkbox here and then doing some code behind the scenes so that's pretty much it good luck